Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. And if you're new, I would like to thank you for stopping by. My name is Jason Wheeler, your St. George and Washington County, Utah real estate agent with Red Rock Real Estate. And today I would like to bring you reasons, in my humble opinion and data, why it is actually a great time to buy and not wait due to interest rates. But before I do, if you'd be so kind, if I bring you some value and some things of interest to you, to hit the like button, the subscribe button, please comment if you have some comments you'd like to share. And then of course, hit that notification bell so that you will be notified of future content that I'll be bringing you in the very near future. And don't forget, you can email me, call me, text me at any time. You'll see my email and my phone number here on the screen. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into some of these reasons why I believe in my humble opinion, why it's a great time to purchase in this current market. So reason number one is uh, we have a housing uh, shortage, right? We have low inventory and a little bit of scarcity. So with that being said, prices are holding really steady. They're not fluctuating very much. Uh, a matter of fact, we're gonna go off of the month of December. Uh, we're currently in the month of December. So let's talk about November of 2023. So the month we just expired. Uh, the average home price is going to be in your mid sixes. That's your average sales price for 2023 November. When we look at 2022 of November, your average sales price was around 580, 590. So we've actually had a little bit of a price increase over the last year, despite the interest rates climbing. So that is a positive and that's something that you want to obviously pay attention to. Um, as you're looking into potentially purchasing. Uh, the average days on the market, however, have been a little longer. So in November of 23, we're looking at about 69 days on the market, where in November of 22, we were looking at about 43, 45 days on the market. So those are averages, and obviously they can take a little longer to sell, um, or they can actually sell a little quicker depending on you know who's looking at them, what the, the, the neighborhood is, and different criteria such as that. So um, let's talk about some further things that might keep you interested in, and encourage you to purchase now. And of course, if you have any questions or I can help you in any way here during your purchase process, um, I would love to be that agent. Of course, if you're looking to sell, you wanna upsize, downsize, um, I'm your guy. Also, if you're looking to invest, please let me know. I will help you find that perfect property to invest in. So. Um, let's keep talking about um, the market here. And when we talk about absorption rate, when the absorption rate is 20% or higher, it's certainly a seller's market um, because you know properties are moving more quickly. But when you're looking at 15% or lower, and we are much lower than 15%, it's certainly a buyer's market. So something to keep in mind when you're looking to purchase, now is the time to buy. Also, when we're talking about potential profits, obviously I can't guarantee a profit, um, but I'm gonna go off of some data that I did some research on to give me these numbers. But in the course of the next year, if you purchase today, you could potentially be looking on the upward neighborhood of two and a half percent of profit in that year. And if we look over the year of, there's the span over 10 years, you could be looking at, you know, the upward neighborhood of 18 plus percent profit over 10 years. So something to keep in mind when you're thinking about purchasing in today's market. Obviously, we would all love to have, you know, 3% come back, 3.5%. However, that's not the case. And we don't know that we're going to see that in the very near future or if we ever see it again. Currently, my situation, I would not sell my home. If I wanted to purchase another home, I would probably find means to find the funds to purchase another home while keeping this home as an investment because the interest rate is so low. So we have a, a way of saying that a lot of people are held hostage to their current interest rate because no one's gonna sell out of that. So with today's interest rate being what it is, know that we are hoping and expecting that interest rates will come down after the 24 election and settle in the mid five. So if you buy today, you can always potentially refinance with your lender down the road. So just give any ideas of what you might be able to do. And again, we're gonna talk about low inventory. For number two, reason number two, um, we are in a period of low inventory. So with low inventory, obviously that's gonna drive prices up 
and it's also going to hold the market steady at the current prices that we have so there's a lot of people speculating that hey i'm going to wait until prices drop i really don't see that happening and i don't think that's going to happen again that's in my humble opinion so please forgive me if you don't see it um in that manner but that's what my colleagues and uh, lenders and people that i spoke to this is what we're seeing so wanted to give you an idea and remember that uh you know real estate purchases it's a long-term investment typically i mean if you're looking to flip properties you can do that and not to say that now is not the right time but again you know if you're thinking about your purchase for your family for your future it's going to be a long-term hold, hold and history has shown that real estate goes up in value it typically does not go down we had the big crash in 2009 but we're not looking at that same type of environment today so keep that in mind wanted you to know that um, let's talk about number three number three there's still some very good finance options I encourage you to talk to your lender if you don't have a lender please hit me up I have a wonderful lender that will help you out shoot you straight and give you the best rate possible with the going market and the competition out there so keep in mind um, that when you do find a good lender, they can help you, you know, and direct you to best maximize your financial goals with your real estate purchase. And in addition to that, with it being a buyer's market right now, we've seen a lot of different seller concessions. And what that means is, hypothetically speaking, if actually today was at a 7.5 interest rate, you might be able to get the seller to throw in some money to buy down your rate to a six and a half percent interest rate. So we have rate buy downs and there's creative ways to do that. And again, we need to talk to a lender and get them in on the loop for that. So let's talk about um, the reason number four and let's talk about that long-term value. So real estate is a long-term game, as I mentioned earlier. And despite the short interest rate blips that we have going on and, and interest rates changing, Keep in mind that uh, um, properties do appreciate over time. I mean, that's historic. So no one can deny that. That's the fact. So keep that in mind. And again, now is the time. And the reason now is the time because people are on the fence. And when people are on the fence, prices have dropped a little bit. And with prices down lower than what they were, say, in uh, 2021 and early 2022, um, you know, you're going to go ahead and be able to save tens of thousands of dollars if you purchase now. If you wait until interest rates do drop, you're going to get an influx of people looking to buy and that's going to drive prices back up. It just is what it is. And then you're also going to have more competition and we're going to see multiple offers. Not that we are not seeing those now on certain properties, but you're going to see that more commonly and it's going to be a little more difficult for you to find the home that you want. So. Keep in mind that now is the time to buy, again, in my humble opinion, and I would love to help you if you're looking to purchase or sell. Please let me know. And then let's just talk about building equity. We know that every mortgage payment that you pay, what doesn't go to interest and impounds for your, your taxes and insurance does go to your principal, so you are working away at your total um, debt on your mortgage, which is creating equity which will set you up down the road for different finance options, right? And um, have you be able to have more of a flexible opportunity in the future. So that's the other thing I wanted to share with you is building equity in your home over time versus, you know, spending money on rent, waiting for interest rates to come down. So that's really all I have for you today. I know it's not too much in depth, but I want to keep it short. I want to keep it so that um, I'm giving you the gist of it so you understand where we're at in today's market. So in conclusion, um, don't let current interest rates deter you from purchasing your home today. So if you have more questions or there's anything I can do for you, please reach out to my email on the screen, the phone number, give me a call, text me, I will get back to you. And if this has done you some good service, if you've enjoyed what you heard, please hit the like button hit the subscribe button. Don't forget the notification bell and uh, comment if you will. And uh, I will love to get back to you.